guys, so today I'm going to be sharing with you how to get tickets for Fashion Week. Now, I do not have a very big following on social media at all. I am a fashion student and I have a blog. Again, it's not the most followed thing in the entire world, so designers won't know who I am. They won't just send me tickets, they won't just leave me an email and want my address and all that kind of stuff. That is for people that have a big following. However, you can still get tickets to fashion shows and I am going to kind of explain how you can basically do that. So these are a few of the um, tickets that I've got for London Fashion Week. Now, this will work differently depending on where you are in the world. So if you're in New York, it, will, it might work a little bit differently. Obviously London is the closest to me. If you live in Milan and Paris, I think it's going to be very difficult because they don't just allow anyone and everyone to go there. However, it's, it's very similar with London. So, with London Fashion Week. Okay, now you can actually try this with every fashion week. It just depends on how um, they put their schedule out online. So, there are no catches to this. You don't have to pay any money, you don't have to be a huge celebrity, you could be anyone. And this is how I do it. So I'm a fashion student and um, I have a blog which is fashionarttravel.com and so basically what happens is that every a month before fashion week or I think two months before fashion week londonfashionweek.com I think that's the website I'm not even sure but London Fashion Week put out a schedule they put out a schedule of all the shows that are happening and the times that they happen now alongside that they also open media registration now media registration is not what we're doing but I'll just explain what it is media registration is where the media register so all the big magazines buyers, editors, bloggers, really well-known bloggers, that's where they all register. We are not doing that because we probably won't get accepted. So the, what we're going to do is on LondonFashionWeek.com, on the website they usually put out a link and it is a spreadsheet and on that spreadsheet it's pretty much a gold mine. What happens is they put out every single brand that is showing on the spreadsheet with a PR email address and that is where you request tickets. Now, it, it is specifically, the spreadsheet is made specifically to request tickets. That's right, London Fashion Week actually put out a spreadsheet on their website to request tickets and a lot of people miss this. And it's very interesting, but a lot of these, um, a lot of these brands, like Felder Felder, is a very, very well-known brand, especially during London Fashion Week. But sometimes they actually want people to be standing. I think these are all, well. This one is an actual ticket where you actually sit. So this is B Block Row Four. But um, for example, this one here, I believe is a standing ticket so you actually stand but you can watch the show and it's ex and it's exclusive for those that only have a ticket you write them an email you say that you're a fashion student or you're just excited and you want to go to the show why you want to go to that show why it might be beneficial to the designer and you just put out an email and it will go straight to their PR team now the PR team are in charge of the tickets and this this is literally how it works and if you are successful you'll get a ticket. The biggest thing you do need to remember is to put your address into the email because if you don't put the address into your email, chances are you won't get a ticket because they literally, they'll read the email and they write the tickets and they send them off. They, they don't, very, very rarely will they email you back and ask for your address because then it will take extra time. And so that is pretty much how it works. Now, Again, with London Fashion Week, Paris, New York, Tokyo, even Sydney and all the other fashion weeks that happen around the entire world, I'm pretty sure 
you could do it similarly however shows like in New York for example majority 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 of the shows are exclusive shows and they aren't really available to other people however you can always try I haven't tried because of course I'm closest to London so another thing if you do live in London is Fashion East and Fashion Scout they always have their own shows which are very exciting during London Fashion Week and therefore like up and coming new designers which I think is really exciting and so they always have this process I think for tickets as well so you can request tickets there as well did I just repeat myself I was like as well and apart from that is there anything else oh yes um internships now if you want to apply for internships um i don't recommend you emailing the pr addresses that are given on the spreadsheet just because that is for the pr department and a lot of the times they don't really control that whole aspect of it, it pr is more for like media and managing the brand and tickets and things like that so if you are interested in doing internships then just google the brand go onto their website and try and find a different email because usually PR they're more interested in the actual brand of it and not really interns and things like that you actually need to contact someone within the actual brand where maybe the design part of it happens unless you want a PR internship I don't know but the best way in my opinion of getting an internship is emailing the brand that you want to work with directly and believe me it might take a lot of emails because um, when I actually did my internship it took a lot of emails to actually get one reply back so that's kind of just my little I don't know way of doing it but yeah if you found this video helpful definitely let me know in the comment section below this is actually how a lot of bloggers in the UK um, bloggers that start out small actually get tickets to go to London Fashion Week and a lot of them are standing tickets sometimes you'll get a ticket where you do sit but it's exciting because in London a lot of the students have been to fashion shows and it's mainly because designers offer this opportunity and if you don't really want to email all of these designers or you know what not you can always go on Twitter and search for the hashtag hashtag LFW which stands for London Fashion Week or any other fashion week and there are so many brands that often do ticket giveaways so you, you know all you have to do I think is just retweet their tweets or post a picture or on Instagram or something like that and um, that's how a lot of the competitions work so you can always go on Twitter and use the handy search engine and get free tickets who doesn't want free tickets to fashion shows so yeah um, and it's like super it's more exciting than seeing it just through a photograph because you can see how the fabric moves and you can actually really get a better feel for what you're actually looking at rather than looking in a magazine or something so yeah if you found this video helpful don't forget to like and subscribe and I am doing a whole fashion series based on just everything that everything about you know being a fashion student and things like that so if there are any video requests that you guys have let me know in the comment section below I will be talking about the best you know books for fashion students and tools and equipment and how to lay out a portfolio and just advice and things like that that I wish I knew when I started studying fashion design and yeah so um, I do have a blog which is fashionarttravel.com if you guys want to check it out. Um, my Instagram is in the description section of this video and I hope that you guys found that exciting and I will see you guys very very soon. Bye!